Are you struggling with your water looking like a big old emerald? I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, so I don't know about you guys. I'm not really too keen on putting chemicals in the water that my animals live in, whether it be fish or turtles or anything like that. So I always try to find like an alternative to chemicals. And in terms of green water, there is an alternative you can use. So um, this, this little pump here, this is a UV sterilizer um, with a power head pump attached to it. It's not a filter. Um, basically all it does is it runs the water from the tank across the surface of the UV, the UV light, which then kills the algae in the water. So like here we have this 55 gallon tank. The water is all kind of green. I did a 90% water change on this thing like two days ago. And it's, I mean, it's still very, very green. The water isn't dirty. It just had an algae bloom and it's because it has this light on here and my window is right there so this is getting light constantly so here is the green killing machine internal UV with power head um, here it is now the reason I picked out this one specifically is because this is your classic textbook aquarium UV sterilizer that you're gonna be able to find at any of your you know, chain pet stores such as Pet Supplies, Pet Smart, Petco. This is their, like, this is what you guys are gonna be able to find rather easily at really any pet store. Um, I know there's, there's gotta be ones online, there's different brands, there's like Amazon, but I decided to go with this one just because it's, you know, your basic textbook sterilizer that basically everyone is gonna have access to. Now, it was a little surprising. This isn't the cheapest thing to buy. This ran me about $70. Um, so this is why we're doing a review on it to see if it really does as good as a job as it says it does to see if it's worth you guys spending your money on it. Okay, so here it is. Let's take this little pack out. Do not eat, throw away. Okay. Um, I did read the instructions. It did say it's not recommended to run 24-7, to really only run it when the water needs clear. So when it's crystal clear, to turn it off and turn it back on when it's cloudy again, which makes sense. Okay, so not the most... Oh, dang. That thing is thick. This isn't the most, like compact hidden design oh goodness. hidden design it's pretty obvious what's here it has this little like sponge filter thing to like block fish from getting in there and it came with extras so <clears throat> this is something you might have to kind of camouflage in your tank well not might have to you're gonna have to camouflage this let's see So, I'm just going to figure out a place to put this in there and let it work its magic. Alright, so here it is in the tank. As you can see, it's right there. It's not plugged in yet. I'm going to go ahead and put the light back on. Um, I really like how this relay, I'm assuming this is kind of like a relay box, has suction cups. It's kind of like a temporary setup for right now. I just want to see if it's going to work so I don't spend a bunch of time hiding wires for it to end up not working. I just have to undo everything. So if it ends up working really good, I'm going to be putting it more permanent in there. So now I've got to figure out a place to plug this bad boy in. This is humongous, but uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I don't know if this is a con or not. I can't tell if it's working how it's supposed to. Look at how weak the current is on this thing. So I looked at it and I don't see where you can adjust the power level. I don't know if this is like how it's supposed to be like, or if it's supposed to have more water pressure.
Okay, so here it is. Ignore the window reflection. That's just how it's going to be. Um, okay, so this is important to hear. How's it going? What I'm filming right now, literally, is months after all of the previous clips and everything, all the pictures that you just saw. Months. I'm talking probably close to three months later. Um, I just didn't get around to editing that video for some reason. But I still want to finish it because this little thing here is a monster. It worked and it worked great. As you can see, crystal clear water right now. You can count the grains of sand. Get that box out of the way. And look at this. All the way back, you can see Right now it's fell off of its suction. The bicer kind of pushed it off, but it is what it is. Um, but crystal clear water to the point where you can see all the little algae bits, which the Pleco is not doing his job. He's not eating it. So I need to get in there and clean it sometime soon. But I do want to say um, it got to the point where it was clear. So like the last clip, you know, on camera, it looked pretty clear. But if you got up close to it, and if you were to film like this, you would not be able to focus that clearly on the other side. It was still somewhat cloudy. And it took almost an entire other week to get that cloudiness to go away. So the initial green, it took about 9 to 10 days. But to make it actually crystal clear, to make this thing look like there was not even water in it, it took almost two weeks. Which... I'm not complaining. It worked. Um, it's been, like I said, almost three months later and I'm still running it and it's keeping it crystal clear. We went through the height of the summer. My window has been open every single day and this thing has kept the algae from coming back. I mean, it's, look at that, you can see out my window. You can see Honda right here. Hi, Honda. So, yeah, this is a, uh, this is the tank, crystal clear, highly recommend it. The green killing machine uh, did its job and it did it well. Um, it was worth every penny of the $70 that I spent getting it. And I highly recommend it. Now, it said it was rated up for 50 gallons. This is a 55 gallon tank, but taking into consideration the substrate, the decorations, the plants, you know, even the fish, um, everything you put in the tank it decreases how much water can be in it. So it's about 50 gallons of water, maybe a little more, but regardless, it did work. Um, if you had a smaller tank, I'm sure it would take less time to work. But um, yeah, highly recommend this. This little doohickey here worked really well. As you can see, you can see the tank and all the fish. Looks really nice. Here's my setup. We got the 75 gallon right here filled with turtles and whatnot. Now this has an algae problem growing on the side of the tank. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything of that sort, uh, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back with you the best I can. Um, yeah, there's really not much else that needs to be said here. So I'll see you guys in the next video.